hopefully everything just goes well because you know I get kind of anxious sometimes but anyways <laughs> Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be crocheting a cardigan for the one and only Alexandra Gator. Okay, so first off, this is like so big for me because I absolutely love her channel. I am just so excited that I actually get to make her a cardigan. It just blows my mind because I, I don't know, this is just, this is just so exciting. Just a little bit of backstory. I mean, I have a viewer of her channel and she is always wearing the most cutest little cardigans. Her outfits are just always like so stinking cute. And I noticed that she wears a lot of knitted sweaters, knitted cardigans, but I never really saw her wear anything crochet. I reached out to her and I'm like, hey, I have a YouTube channel where I do crocheting as like one of the main things that I do besides, you know, thrifting because I thrift a lot. I would love to make you a cardigan and then like film the process and the whole the whole shebang to give to her because I I you know I have enough I have a lot I have a lot of sweaters I've got a lot of sweaters so it'd be nice to make something for someone else and she said yes and I'm like oh my goodness I am having a slight panic attack right now, but it's good and I'm super excited. So if you don't know who Alexandra Gator is, she has a YouTube channel under her same name and I will link it below. Her and her team do so many amazing home makeovers. So she does a lot of renter friendly content, making over apartments, making over her own apartments. Also, they do make a lot of their own like furniture pieces, which is like really neat to see. And it kind of makes me want to like get into woodworking if I wasn't so afraid of metal things going super fast that could just like slice your arm off. I don't know, maybe one day, but I think I'll just stick to the crocheting for right now. <laughs> I mean, I could technically stab myself with a crochet hook. So, I mean, there's a little bit of danger in crocheting. Knitting never hurt anyone. Now, how did I do that? But it's less dangerous than uh, using a saw that's going super, super fast. So what I ended up doing is I made a Pinterest board of just a bunch of different ideas that I was thinking of and I sent it to her and so she could just kind of pick what she's looking for. And she actually picked the hexagon cardigan. And I had just made one. I've learned from that cardigan and I know what to do for this one. So I'm really glad that this is not the first hexagon cardigan that I am making because oh boy, the other one was, it wasn't bad, but I had some major detours in that one. It's great that now I know what I'm doing. Anyways, I asked her what type of colors and stuff she wanted and she mentioned that she likes pink, green, purple, and mustard yellow. Those are just all my favorite colors too. You know me. I love a good mustard yellow. I went to Michael's to pick out some yarn choices and they had a lot and I was really debating. I really love like the pastel pinks, greens, purples, yellow. I think they all look really good together. But the problem is, is that if you mix all of them together, it gets a little Eastery, a little spring, although I do love spring. So I just kind of like picked and choosed the colors that I think would look really good together. The main color that I picked is going to be this off white. It looks white, but then when you put it next to white, it's not white at all. And so I got this off white color and then I went with this color here, which is soft rose. And I love this soft rose color. I've made so many things in this color. I just think it's so gorgeous. And of course it is the impeccable brand. They have a lot of variety of colors, even though their prices went up just a little bit. It's fine. If a color's cute, I'm going to pay the price for yarn. Just looking at these two colors together, just makes such a lovely card. Again. And then also picked up this mustard colored yarn, which is just called gold. Now, usually the gold color I go with is the Craft Smart, but the Craft Smart yarn, again, I always mention this, is just a little different. Even though it says it's the same weight and the same hook size and everything, it's just like a little tiny bit different. So I wanted to stick with the same brand of yarn. That's a rule of thumb. If you're making something, try to stick to the same brand because then you know all the yarn is gonna like crochet the same. I bought this yarn to be the trim and to be the cuffs and of course like the bottom ribbing you know I thought this would like look really really cute with the other colors let me just show you so these are the colors together I think that these are just so beautiful together I was really considering adding the green to this but it was either a very bright bright green or it was a very muted green there wasn't like a green that was like the same kind of coloring as this I nixed the idea I did have a lot of plans I'll show you the plans here I did a lot of like color theory and, and trying to figure out what the colors look best. And in the end, I just think that if the 
main base or the two sides of the hexagon cardigan are just the white and the pink and then the yellow for the trim. I think that works really nice. I think that it's not going to be too busy. Also for this project, I will be using a five millimeter crochet hook, which I pretty much just use for all my projects because it's my favorite hook. Now I did enjoy working on my last hexagon cardigan. That's why I was kind of thinking that like doing another one right after the one I did is going to be great because I know what I'm doing and hopefully it will go by quickly, more quickly than the last one. The last one just seemed to go on and on and on. But this one, because the yarn is a little bit thicker than my last yarn, I think it's going to be very successful. So let's just get right into making this card. First off, I just want to say I really love these colors together. And I made sure that there was one, two, three, four, five, six. I made sure that there are six sides before I proceed because you remember what happened to this one. Remember, remember that one? I have to keep this one here so that way it reminds me of my mess up, but also so I do it properly. I'm really loving these colors right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so something that I learned from the last cardigan, well, not so much learned, it's different. So I'm not using four colors for this project. I'm using two colors for the sides, and then eventually I will be using the yellow mustard gold color for, you know, the trim and the cuffs. But because I'm just doing two colors, of course, I figure that out down here, is that I don't need to keep cutting my yarn, tying it off, putting another color in, etc. because it's two colors. And because this is going to be the inside, as you can see here, I didn't cut the pink. I just took the pink and pulled it up. So no one's going to see the inside. Well, I mean, someone will see the inside, but I feel like this will be a lot cleaner and I won't have to hide in a ton of ends. I won't even be shown because this is the the front side and this is the back side. So you're not even going to see the pink strand or like the white strand, which is like right there because it's covered up. Honestly, making it with two colors is so easy because I don't have to keep cutting yarn. I just have to like just switch the yarn. All right, it's finally gotten to the point where like just doing one round takes so long to do. Like I, it was, I was doing so well and I was so confident. I'm like, wow, this is just going like so easy. Like I'm gonna get this one done faster than the other one. Now it's just, it's getting to that point where every row is just taking like 20, 30 minutes to get done, but it's fine. We're gonna get this done. It's, 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 it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Sure, like right now it is the size of a, of a child's sweater, but um, not the size I'm going for. I still have a lot of work to do and I'm still on the first panel. So it's gonna keep, keep going. And of course, Pippin wants to know what I'm up to. Look at that. Look at that little face. This is so sweet. Such a sweet eye. My initial plan is not going to plan. You know, it's me. It's not it's not a Michelle Crochet project unless, you know, something takes a deep dive and goes off a cliff and burns. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. But what I did is I laid the one that I already made, the one that I really like the fit, that I think is a good fit. And then I put this one down. So this is a thicker yarn than this. Because of how heavy this cotton yarn was, because it's acrylic, it's almost like the same size. Like I feel like these are even a little bit bigger than this. Like these, like the little guys look a little bit smaller. My plan, and if you come on over here, I think I'm gonna do another set of rows. So like another set so like i'm gonna do one more pink and then i'm gonna do two more rows of the white and then i think that will get the length because this is just a little short and i kind of want it to be a little bit longer that's what i'm gonna work on today i really want to get this side done again it's always the first side of the project that always stresses me out because i'm like am i gonna have enough yarn how far am i gonna have to go what are the measurements i don't know yet i have a good idea of where this is going we're gonna get this done and then i can work on the second one and then you know like connect it do the trim do the sleepy thingies etc. Okay, update. Little, little, little update. I have half of it done now. Look at that. So it goes like this, like that. Half of the cardigan is done. I think it's really cute. So the thing where it kind of tripped me up a little bit on this cardigan, because again, I've only made one before and I'm kind of going off basing this one off of that one, but that one was made with cotton yarn and smaller yarn. This one here, I think I actually had to make it the exact same size. I wasn't going to, I'm like, oh, I don't need to do the extra rows. But then when I got kind of to where I thought I should stop at, I'm like, oh, I want it to be a little bit more, just a little bit. Did do the same thing that I did for the other one, which I learned is instead of doing a double border here at the end, when I attach it together at the top, it will create that double border 
from both sides, you know what I mean? And then I'm still debating if I wanna do a, another white line here and another white line at the bottom. I'm gonna see, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to, so I don't know if I'm going to yet. I'm gonna start the other side, and then once that side's done, I can add the gold. Look at how beautiful those colors look together. Oh my goodness. I am a little sad that I didn't use the green because I did buy a green and then I decided against it because I think it would be way too much colors and I kind of wanted to like simplify it but also still make it like still jazz it up with like three colors but I think four would have been a little too much. Also I love how I can just like fold it into like a little square and put it away. That's pretty much where I am right now. I'm gonna get the other side done. When the other side's done, I can go and tell you the next steps, which is basically the border, trim, and cuffs. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Hopefully, hopefully I can get this done this week because there's another project that I'm dying. Like I wanna make this other project so badly, but I gotta do this one first. This project is super fun. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I love using these yarns, it's fun. But the other one, oh, oh. I'm just excited for the other one too. As you saw, I already finished this half of the cardigan and then I just started the second half, but always before I carry on because I made a, a grave error the last cardigan I made, I must count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's six sides and if I fold it just the right way, how do I fold, how do I fold this? It makes a little tiny hamster cardigan. I can move on to new this side. Almost had a little bit of a hiccup because I was, I had just finished this one row of white and then I started stitching in the pink color and I was like right about here. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I took it apart because then I remember you do two rows of white one row of pink. But honestly, this project is going swimmingly because I learned my lesson from the last project. So there's not really a lot to update right now. That would have been just annoying if I would have done the whole row in pink and then would have had to take the whole thing off. Cause I'm getting to the point where each row is taking longer and longer to do. It's like every single time I turn the corner, I'm like, okay, this is it. This is the last row and it's not. And I'm like, okay, it's gonna be the next one. And it's also not gonna be the next one. I still have like two more rows until I can like connect the color again and then do the very last row of everything. Oh, the hexagon cardigan. It is fun to start out with, but then when you get to like the last rows, you just want to give up, but you can't because you're, um, you're, so, you're so close. So close to being done. I finished the second half. Now I have two halves of the cardigan. So today I get to attach them finally. And then I can start on the trim, which I'm so excited for. I'm just so excited that these are done. These take forever to do, but they're done. So I have the two sides done. I used four skeins of the white and three. Well, here's the thing. I had one full skein of the pink and then I had probably like three quarters of a one of the same color because I love that color. So I just had it in my stash. So I had that, but I had just run out. Like I did not have enough pink to do the final line on the side. So I had to go out and buy another pink and I have, uh, where is it? it? Should be in here. So I still have all this pink left, but I mean, I'm gonna use it because it's one of my favorite colors of pink. Today, I'm going to be attaching these together and then I think I'm gonna do the trim first and then the cuffs. So I think I wanna connect them together and then I'm gonna try it on and see how long I need the cuffs. She did mention she loves the oversized look. I love the oversized look. So I feel like what, 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 I, what I make, I hope will be okay. I hope it's okay for you. But yeah, so I attaching and starting the trim, which is so exciting because means that's almost done. And then I get to start on my next project. I'm never not working on a project. Finally at the part where I can attach everything together. So I'm going to be using these clamps, the clamps to clamp them together. Well, the parts you need to clamp together. I'm also going to be using a yarn needle and the same white yarn as the white here to connect it. So I think I'm going to connect the arm pieces together for both sides and then I'm going to connect the two pieces together along the back. Last night I actually got the front collar bit done and then I started working on the bottom and I got about halfway done the bottom part. So I'm going to finish the trim on it and then I'm also going to be doing the cuffs today. It's a different yellow on camera and in the daylight it looks different so it looks a lot better in person and when it's like not 
lit by, you know, artificial lighting. What I ended up doing is I learned this from my last project is, or like, you know, the last hexagon project I did. You see how that's the top of the arm for this side and that's the top of the arm for that side. What I originally did is I, I would actually attach them together. But instead, when I was attaching the back part here, I left a little bit. So then that way there's more of a neck because mine doesn't have like the back of a neck and it's kind of uncomfortable. So I wanted to improve upon that and do it like this. Yeah, I'm just going to continue crocheting tonight and I'm probably, I am, I'm just going to put this out there. I'm going to get this project done. I'm going to get this project done tonight because I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. The cardigan is all done. Like I was saying that the, the gold just really doesn't look well when it's not underneath the right lighting, but like, look at how cute these colors look together. And I did make a lot of changes in this one then again this one i made a lot of really good changes i feel in here ones that i probably would not have known about had i not already made the project just need to like actually give it to her now so hopefully that goes well i don't know i'm still very nervous hopefully everything just goes well because you know i get kind of anxious sometimes but anyway it's projects done and the next is for Alexandra to get the cardigan. Because it's me and like me, I forgot to film myself packing up the cardigan and mailing it off. Also mailing things sometimes gives me a little bit of anxiety because what if I packaged it wrong or what if I wrote down the wrong address? But here we are, everything's fine. Okay. I also have no idea what this is gonna look like. It is a true surprise. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fully my colors. I can't believe someone made this. Look at Sasha's face. I can't believe someone made this from scratch. Like what? That is so beautiful. I can't believe that you made this from scratch. Like I, I, I don't understand. In like two weeks. Do we love it or do we love it? We if love it's perfectly. It. These are like my two colors. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Wow, look at the sleeves. It's so cute. Thank you so much. This is so beautiful and so special that you made this just for me. I love it so much. I really didn't know what to expect and I'm thrilled. My favorite part is the poofy sleeves. Cute, thank you so much. <laughs> I am so happy that I was able to make this cardigan for Alexandra. I'm like kind of jealous that I had to give it away because of how cute the colors were. And it's honestly so weird not to have it. You know what I mean? Like every time I make something, I always have it. But this is like the first thing that I'm never gonna see again which is kind of weird, but I am so happy that she loves it. I am, I'm so grateful that she actually filmed her reaction to it. Like that was like amazing because then I can put it in this video. And I have to agree with her, like the puffy sleeves are probably my favorite thing to make on any of my crochet projects. I just, I just love the puffy sleeves. So let's kind of now go over the logistics of everything that I did. So in total, it took me 23 hours to make. And I think the other cardigan, I think took around the same time. If not, I think this one took actually a little bit longer. Now I just want to go through like a few things that I learned from this project to obviously that amazing one that I made for her because I don't have that one to demonstrate with you I'm just gonna show you on this one a few things that I learned is when I was doing the neck on hers I put a lot more ribbing up here so then that way it was a lot more looser on the neck and then I also you know from the last video of this I did I did remember how to do the nice rounded edges on the bottom so that was great I learned a lot from this project it's funny whatever your first project is it might go okay but you're probably gonna make a lot of mistakes and from those mistakes you're gonna learn from them, so you don't make them the next time you make something and then another thing that I did on hers that I didn't do for mine when I was actually doing the hexagon pattern one chain in between each one of these like you know little guys and on hers I didn't do any chains and I really liked how that looked a lot better it didn't make like a big difference but I feel like the spacing of these would have been a little bit more tighter on this one you know had I done that again learn from this one another thing is that I did do acrylic for hers and then this one is all cotton and this one is so heavy whereas the acrylic one was so nice and light so if I were to make another one of these in the future I would definitely go the acrylic route or a very light yarn compared to this but if you want something that is going to weigh you down you know kind of like a blanket you can go with the cotton yarn I think that pretty much does it for this video if you're new to my channel like sewing thrifting crafting and of course crocheting why not hit the subscribe button you can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok I think that is it see y'all have a good day now